Let me show you how to customize a lower third in Camtasia 2021. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Essatino Media, showing you how to create profitable content. All right, so you might be asking, what's a lower third? Let me show you. And pay attention to the bottom left-hand side. You see that? That thing that just popped up with my name and my Instagram, that is called a lower third. I know, it's a weird name, right? Let me show you where to find this and how to customize it. All right, first, where to find it, head over to the library tab and then click on the library and then you'll see here Camtasia 2021. And then you'll see a folder called lower thirds. Basically, a lower third is like the title or name that comes up on the bottom of the screen. So usually you put your name and then you say something. Either it's your title, the name of your business, or in my case, I put my name and then my Instagram. So you can see that they have a whole bunch of lower thirds here and they're, they're already pre-made and pre-animated. So they've added like animation, which is basically movement to these lower thirds. And all you have to do is customize it. You can actually double click on them and they'll play. So let's say this one right here, this one's called assist, right? And you basically go through them and see which ones you like. I liked this one, which was called whiteout which is the one that you see. And what I did was I actually took this initial template of the lower third and I customized it. So you'll see here that this is what, let's move it over a bit so you can see it better. Okay, so this was the original. It's got the Camtasia logo, it's white and it's black. And the one that I did was black, white and purple. After I customized it, I ended up saving it. I'll show you here when I go back to the library and I go to my own personal library and I'll just scroll down here. I actually saved this with all the changes so that all I have to do is just drag it down each time and it saves so much time because I don't have to go and change the colors and retype it because you'd be surprised how long it actually takes to customize this. So when you drag the lower third that you like down to the timeline, what you can do is head over to the right hand side and you see here that they've got title, subtitle, and they've got colors one and two, and they have the Camtasia logo already in here. So what you start to do is you start to populate this with your name and whatever else information you want to put in here. Now, I specifically wanted to use this lower third to promote our Instagram and get more Instagram followers. So what I did was I double click, start typing in my name okay and then i changed it and i went instagram here esatino media you'll notice that the alignment's a little bit weird so i actually have to go into it and customize it a little bit more this is a little bit advanced but if you know these kinds of things you can alter it to the way you want because most people will just, you know, plug it in there and then it'll look like this. But it doesn't look like this, which I think looks better and it's more properly positioned in my opinion. So to move things over and to resize and reshape things, you actually need to click this plus button here and you need to dive a little deeper here. So when you click on the different elements here, you can see that this text right here, this is the Esatino Media text. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move this over. So I'm going to click the arrow button and move that over because that's way too far on the right. And it looks weird to me when it's all the way over there. So let's say I want it over here. And then you'll see that this white shape 
is too long. And so we want to shorten that as well. So you just want to click around until you find that actual shape. So here you can see that this is the shape and I want to shorten this. Now you see when I click on this shape, there's actually another plus button because it's made up of two shapes. And if I click the plus button, you'll see that it's made up of a triangle and a rectangle. What I want to do is I want to shorten this. So let's start off first by shortening the rectangle and you'll see it reveals the triangle. And then we'll move the triangle over because I still want this angling shape, right? And so it looks like it needs to be a little bit more shorter. And I'm just playing around with it. And this is exactly what I did when I was creating it. I was just customizing it and playing around with it. I still want it to be a little bit more shorter. So I'm going to go back, make this a little bit more, move the arrow key, and then let's see how this looks. So in my opinion, this looks a lot better because it's shorter. It was too long before based on my name. And if we go back to the main timeline here, you can see that it is relatively the same size as I had customized it before. And now if we click on it, we can get rid of the other tabs here because we, we just want the front end of the lower third now and we can customize things. So let's see here, I want to change the font to white because let's say I want the background to be black. So I'm going to change the font size to be white. You can change this to whatever color you want. The subtitle, I also want white. You could actually change the font as well, change the size of the font. I'm okay with the actual font and the size of the font. I just want to change the color. So I'm going to drag this. All right. And then now I have to change the background piece to black. So that's color two, right? I'm going to change that to black. And you can see it's already starting to look pretty cool. And another thing I want to do is change this outline to black because there was a little bit of white happening over there. And now you can see, in my opinion, it's looking way cooler now. And you can see what I did here. I just changed this one to a purple Instagram, but I'll just leave the Camtasia one here for now. Pretty much just the same. It's just the Camtasia logo still there, but that's okay. That is how I customized this lower third to make it my own. And then after I did make it my own with all those adjustments and stuff, what I did was I clicked on it, right click, and then add to library. And then you want to name it as such. And I named mine Instagram Jewel Acetino so that I know that this is the Instagram for me with my name and it is for the Esatino Instagram, which is our business Instagram. And then once you save it, you name it as such and then you put it in the proper library that you want it to go into. I put it into Esatino, which is the one for us. You click OK and it saves and then it becomes like this. And it's already pre-made, preset. And then whenever I edit my videos, I just go in there, drag it, drop it. It's already in place. It's already got the colors. It's already got the name and you just have to set it up once and then you can use it over and over again. Do this for things that you use over and over again that you find that you're putting in your videos over and over again to save you time. Because if I had to do that every single time I did a video, that would be really annoying and it would be quite a waste of time. So that's how you customize lower thirds. If you like these kinds of videos, I have a nine plus hour 70 lecture Camtasia course that will fast track your Camtasia learning. If you want to learn Camtasia fast, you need to take my course. The link for that will be down in the description below. Was this helpful? Hit the thumbs up button. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.